Hi, I would like to talk briefly about the CSU Extension Online Directory and more specifically take a look at the three fantastic search tools that are built into the directory that will hopefully help you to find the information that you're looking for. First, let's start by going to the Extension website at extension.colostate.edu and if you click on the green online directory button it will take you to our online directory at the top of the directory you'll find a list of resources that you may find to be helpful underneath that we have our search tool area which we're going to talk more in depth about here in just a little bit below the search tools we can see the beginning of our alphabetically listed directory so as we look at a person's directory listing we can see that there are some categories that are typically associated with that person. This individual is, locate, uh, is associated with a particular county and they're also associated with a particular region. We may find that some people have a region, an area, and a county that are associated to their, to their directory listing. And also there is, for some people, a show notes area where if we click on that it will toggle open a notes area where we'll find additional information. Each person's name is also clickable and if you click on the name it will expand their directory listing. We'll see the information about that person, we'll see the notes area that's listed, and we'll also see an interactive map. So I'm going to go back to the online directory and let's look at some of these search tools. First, let's look at the select category drop down menu. One of the questions that I get is what if I wanted to view everybody who works in a particular county? Well, all you have to do is scroll down and find that county. For instance, let's pick on Denver County. I'll click on Denver County and it's going to pull up all of the employees that work in Denver County. So it's really nice and convenient. You can um, email somebody directly from here or call them. You have their information right here at your fingertips. So if you're trying to find a particular person, for instance, and you know they work in a, in a certain county, one way that you could quickly find them is just to click on their county name through this categories drop down menu and you'll locate them. And you'll notice that, again, the categories are listed here. I clicked on Denver County county and it's searching for uh, that key phrase within the categories Denver County so notice that this individual is also associated with the Front Range region so let's say I wanted to see all employees who work in the Front Range region then I could simply click on Front Range region and it's gonna find all employees who work within the Front Range region. So it's a hierarchical search listing in the way that we have regions, we have areas, and we have counties. Notice the Peaks and Plains region is listed kind of at the root level almost here. It's, you can see it's shifted all the way to the left. And then we have some counties that are listed. They're, they're nested in this menu under Peaks and Plains. The Golden Plains area is also nested alphabetically under Peaks and Plains. And then under the Golden Plains area, we have some counties that are nested under that. So keep in mind that as you're trying to find a particular county, it's going to be nested under its area or its region. So it's a really helpful tool if you're trying to find a group of people who work in a particular area. In addition to finding employees that are listed under a particular county, you'll also find generic information, contact information for a particular county. So I clicked on Adams County in the drop down menu and it has pulled up a record for Adams County Extension. And so I can find their office phone number in here, their office email address, their website address for the county office, and then I would also f expect to find all of the employees who work in that office. Let's talk next about the search text box. This is a wonderful tool that you can search for any kind of text that might be associated with somebody's directory listing. It could be their name, it could be a street name, it could be part of their email address, it could be part of their job title, it could be their phone number, it could be any number of different items. Maybe somebody called you on the phone, you don't know who it is, you could type the phone number into the search box and potentially pull up who it was who called you. So let's say I know that somebody I'm searching for is on Nelson Road, 
but I don't remember their name. I'm going to just type in Nelson. Whoops. Notice what happened just now to me. It produced no results. And that's because I forgot that I had selected Adams County from the drop-down menu. And I'm sure this has probably happened to some other people out there, and that's why you're watching this video right now, is wondering why is this not working correctly. Well, it is working correctly. These tools all, not only do they work independently, but they also work together. So it's trying to find the word Nelson listed in all of the records that are associated with Adams County. Well, Adams County doesn't have anything that has the word Nelson in it. So what I recommend is a quick way to just clear out all the search criteria is click on that online directory button and it will clear out all of the search criteria. Now you see the drop down menu has gone back to select category. So in the search box I'm going to again type Nelson and hit enter and away we go. And what do we find? Well I was looking for Nelson Road and this is not Nelson Road, but if I click on this show notes, I'll see that uh, oh, somebody named Jim Nelson is listed in the notes as part of their extension advisory committee. And if I scroll down more, there's Nelson Road. Or I could type in any other text that I might expect to find in somebody's directory listing. So again, I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to click on online directory to clear out my search criteria. And I'm going to scroll down and use the A to Z listing now. You know, if I click on A, it would pull up Adams County or any other county, Arapaho, any other county that would start with the letter A. Otherwise, it's going to be pulling up people's last names that start with that letter. So for instance, if I click on M and I scroll down I will find people whose last names start with M. We don't have a county that starts with the letter M so I'm not going to see a county listed there but I see people whose last names start, it, start with the letter M. If I clicked on B I would expect that I'll see Broomfield County listed in here among employees. Let's scroll down I see employees listed alphabetically. Broomfield starts with B R. So as I scroll down, down, oh, I get to the bottom and look, there's two pages. I'm going to click on number two, take me to the next page. Oh, there's Bent County. Boulder County, Broomfield County. So it's all listed alphabetically. So that's your A to Z search listing. Now, I mentioned earlier that these tools not only work independently of each other, but they also can work together. So let's say I wanted to find somebody in Adams County who, so I clicked on Adams County and it reloaded the page and now it's pulled up everybody in Adams County. Notice that, I forgot to mention this earlier, but notice that it tells me that I'm searching within the category Adams County. Now, if I click on the letter M, it's going to show me that I'm filtering by the character M. And it actually cleared out Adams County, which I'm surprised. I thought it would actually keep that. But if I search in, let's see, Adams County, and I'm going to let the page reload, and I'll scroll back down. And if I wanted to find somebody in Adams County who is a master gardener, I can do that search and it tells me I actually remembered that I had searched for the character M and it's searching for the text master and gardener and it's searching within Adams County so if I scroll down it's gonna find a person who has the last name that starts with M who is a master gardener who is in Adams County so these tools can really work to your advantage or they can really mess you up if you're not paying attention. So always remember if you're only trying to use one of the tools, click on the online directory button to clear everything out and it'll let you start from scratch. I hope that this tutorial has helped and that you will be able to find the information that you need in our directory with no difficulties. Thank you.